Sloan nodded towards Steve and Jill. Watching them both leave to get Katrina, Blaze glanced back at Adam, who was staring at him. What? Nothing. Adam shook his head, looking quickly away. You reading me, boy? Blaze growled, his darkening eyes narrowing. No, it's just... Adam stopped when Steve and Jill re-entered with Katrina following. Blaze looked away from Adam to watch Katrina stop inside the door, her eyes searching everyone before landing on him. Sager was right by her side, alert as if ready to defend her if necessary. Her hand automatically went to the dog's head as if seeking comfort, and for a split second, Blaze felt a jealousy toward the dog that pissed him off. His feelings for this woman were getting out of control, and he needed to do something about that before he totally fucked up both of their lives. Katrina headed toward Sloane's office, not realizing she was being summoned. She wanted to be cleared to start training again and had been told by Slade that Sloane had the last word. Hey. She smiled as Jill and Steve headed down the hallway toward her. Her smile faded, seeing the look on their faces. What? Sloane wants to see you. Jill glanced away, looking down at Sager. She petted the German shepherd on the head before rubbing her ears, an action that calmed the overexcited pup. Oh, uh, okay. Katrina's eyes landed on Steve, who couldn't seem to look her in the eye. Why? When Jill and Steve shot each other glances, she knew something was up and dread filled her soul. They knew. Somehow they knew. Her mind raced as she stood there, her eyes going to the ground, a habit she used so many times in her life to hide her fear. Listen, I probably shouldn't say anything. Steve started gaining Katrina's attention. And I'll probably get my ass kicked. Probably? I'd say definitely. Jill snorted, pulling her hand away from Sager. Adam knows something about you. Jill took the initiative and told Katrina. But he won't say until you're there. Steve, who never wanted to be left out, added. He wants to give you a chance to tell whatever it is you need to tell. Katrina felt physically ill. Everything blurred as fear replaced all rational thought from her mind. This couldn't be happening. She had been more than careful. Right now, she needed to calm down and figure this out fast. If the warriors knew who she was, everything would be ruined. What do you need to tell us? Steve hedged, leaning toward her, one eyebrow raised. Nothing, Katrina said automatically, then glanced at Jill before looking back at Steve. How good is Adam's skill? Steve leaned back, eyeing Katrina for a minute. Let's just say if you have a secret you don't want shared, you're fucked. Whatever it is, you're a warrior in training. Jill jumped in with the same thing Adam had said, no doubt in reaction to the fear Katrina couldn't hide. Come on before they come looking for us. Just be honest, Katrina, and everything will work out fine. Katrina let Jill head her down the hallway, but she didn't miss the concerned look on Steve's face before he turned away. As if knowing her turmoil, Sager stuck close to her leg as she walked toward what she knew was going to be her end of the line with the warriors. Taking a deep breath, she followed Jill and Steve into Sloane's office. Her eyes automatically went to Blaze before falling back to the ground. Katrina. Sloane's voice was deep and full of authority, quickly pulling her gaze from the ground to him. Yes? Her voice cracked, her breathing coming in short, fast pants, and yet she kept her eyes glued to him. She needed to be careful. She didn't know exactly what they knew. She couldn't blow this. Her life depended on the next few minutes. Is there something you need to tell us? Sloane didn't beat around the bush about anything. It was something Katrina has learned quickly. He was in your face blunt, and she had found that trait honorable until this moment. No, she replied, her monotone lie ringing throughout the room, echoing in her head because she knew they knew she was lying. I know, Katrina. Adam stepped up with a frown. And if you don't tell them, I will. I didn't mean to pry, but when you weren't healing, I wanted to help Slade help you, and, well, I know everything. That's rude. Katrina's eyes narrowed toward Adam, unhappy he had pried into her personal thoughts. Remembering where she was, she curbed her attitude and looked toward the ground again. So is keeping what you had been keeping from the warriors, Adam shot back. But his voice wasn't angry, just edged with concern. As well as dangerous. Well, if somebody doesn't say anything in the next second, I'm kicking Adam's ass, Sid said on a growl, standing from the chair in front of Sloane's desk. If my mate is in danger, I want to know, and I want to know now. Katrina jumped when Sid moved, her eyes shooting up from the floor. Katrina, Adam warned, his head tilting toward her. Tell or